everyone. It's Julianne here for Honeybee Stamps and welcome back. Today is National Coffee Day. I woke up super early this morning and went out and got my free coffee and I'm ready to tackle this super rainy Florida day. There is a huge blog hop going on today in order to celebrate National Coffee Day and it includes a bunch of great sponsors including Honeybee Stamps. So make sure to head on over to the blog for all of the details. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this fall inspired coffee card using some of the new goodies from the autumn afternoon release. The supplies I'm going to be using today include the coffee buzzword, the Hello Falls Leaves stencil, the Treat Yourself stamp and die set, as well as the Nuts About You stamp set and the Hello Fall stamp set. So let's get started. So I started off my card today by first stamping three of the coffee cup images that are from the Treat Yourself stamp set. And I stamped each one of those onto a sheet of Express It Blending cardstock using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And what I'm doing here is I'm stamping a few of the leaf images that are included in the Nuts About You stamp set. And I'm arranging them onto each one of my coffee cups and adding some post-it notes on the side of each of them before stamping them down. And this is going to give me that fall look that I'm going for on my coffee cups. Now once I get that first coffee cup all stamped out, I'm then just going to move those post-it notes over to the second one and do the same thing. Now you can definitely skip this if you don't want to do this to your coffee cups, but I really wanted to go for that fall theme for my card today. So once I just peel back those post-it notes, you can see just how cute these look. Next I'm going to start working on my fall leaf background, and this is going to go behind my coffee cups. So I've started out by trimming down a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock to 3.5 by 8.5. So that way I can create my slimline background while doing some ink blending using the Hello Fall stencil set as well as using some of my Distress Oxide inks. Now I only want the leaves to be at the top part of my background panel, so I've just added some washi tape to kind of mask out the center. So that way I don't have to worry about my ink blending going past that point. And I want to be able to create some fall looking leaves, so the colors I'm going to be using today include Candied Apple, Carved Pumpkin, fossilized amber, and finally some mowed lawn. And I'm just gonna be picking a leaf from the stencil and I'm just gonna add that down to my background while using some washi tape in order to cover up the rest of the leaves that are surrounding the one that I'm currently ink blending. And I'm just gonna be adding different color combinations of the colors that I mentioned earlier. That way they look as though my leaves are changing colors like they would during the fall season. So I'm just gonna continue that ink blending all the way up my background panel making sure that I change color combinations for each leaf. And once I get that last leaf done, I'm just gonna remove that stencil and you can see just how awesome this looks. And it really was super easy to accomplish. So I'm just gonna place that background off to the side. And while that dries, I'm gonna start working on coloring in my images. So I'm definitely gonna wanna continue that fall themed color scheme onto my coffee cups as well. So I have colored those in using darker shades. And I've listed all of those colors down at the bottom of the screen. Now for the leaves that I've added onto each cup, I'm gonna want those to look as though they are changing colors with the seasons as well. So I'm going to be coloring them in using different colors of my Copic markers. And I'm gonna start out with this first leaf using YR15. And I'm gonna be coloring that at the bottom of the leaf. And then I'm gonna come in with Y08 in order to color in the rest of the leaf as well as going over that YR15 in order to blend those colors. The next leaf I'm going to be using R14 and then I'm going to come in again with that YR15 and then again I'm going to come back in with Y08 in order to blend all of those in together. This is super easy to do as long as you are picking colors that complement each other. Now for the rest of the leaves, I'm going to be adding in some G14 as well. So again, I'm going to be adding that color since it is green. I'm going to be adding that color closer to the yellow color instead of the red because the red and green really wouldn't look too well together, but green and yellow would blend nicely. So I'm just going to color in each one of those leaves and then I'm going to be using the coordinating dies for the Treat Yourself stamp set. And I'm going to be cutting out each one of those coffee cups using my die cutting machine. And once I run those through my machine, I'm then going to start working on assembling my card together. So 
I really felt as though my leaves and my background were a little too plain. So I'm going to be taking out the Hello Fall stamp set. And I'm going to be stamping the detail stamp for each one of those leaves. And I'm going to be stamping each one of those using some Versamark ink. And I'm going to be stamping those onto their coordinating leaf. And then I'm going to be heat embossing each of those using some gold embossing powder. I really love how this looks. I really think that it adds a really nice touch to my background and really makes it stand out. So once I've decided on the placement of where I want everything to go, I'm then going to be stamping out both of my sentiments that are from the coffee stamp set. And I'm going to be stamping both of those just a little bit below my ink blended area using some more of that Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Once I have both of those stamped, I'm then going to be adhering the coffee buzzword die cut that I ran through my die cutting machine using some brown glitter cardstock, and I'm gonna be adhering that down using some liquid adhesive. Now for the two coffee cups that are up front, I'm going to be adhering those down as well, but I'm going to be using some foam adhesive for both of those in order to give my card that little bit of added dimension. Finally, to finish off my card, I'm gonna be adhering just a few of the gold confetti mix sequins throughout my background, and once I have all of those adhered, that's going to complete my fall inspired coffee card in order to celebrate National Coffee Day. I really love how this card turned out and I hope that you do too. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe for even more card making ideas. If you're interested in any of the supplies I used, I will have them all listed and linked down below in the description box. And I will have a link that will take you to the Honey Bee blog if you want to hop along for a chance to win some great prizes. I hope you have a wonderful day and make sure that you get a big old cup of coffee to celebrate. And I'll see you later. Happy crafting.